Our other top story tonight, the man who prosecutors say was the ringleader of a massive dog fighting operation makes his first appearance in court. 29 year old Julian Aiken faces nearly a dozen charges after more than 30 dogs were recovered from his home on Detroit's east side, many of them injured. Priya Mann has brand new information into how this dog fighting ring came to light. Priya. This massive dog fighting ring was busted by a tipster. Somebody saw something that just didn't look right, so they called the Michigan Humane Society, and what they discovered behind that fence was heartbreaking. It's disgusting, it's heinous, it's cruel. Um, the conditions were pretty, pretty poor. Um, I'm surprised that some of these dogs are still alive, to be honest. 35 pit bulls are recovering at the Michigan Humane Society after being rescued Friday from four homes in Detroit. Most of these dogs have what we believe are scars consistent with uh, organized dog fighting. Some of them are in worse shape than others, um, but they are definitely, they have they are in a very severe state of neglect. The Humane Society and the 9th Precinct Special Ops Unit spent more than 12 hours at this home on the east side. 29-year-old Julian Aiken was arrested and appeared before a judge Monday, accused of running a massive dogfighting ring. Do you understand Joel Bryant's? Aiken was charged with possessing dogs for fighting, animal cruelty, and weapons offenses. Dogfighting can be an extremely lucrative business, earning owners tens of thousands of dollars at the expense of defenseless dogs. Well, these dogs don't want to engage in this. This is something that they're forced to do. So putting a dog on a treadmill for 30 minutes, the dog might not want to do that at all, but it has no choice because if it stops running, then it's in trouble. So it's absolutely cruel. The Michigan Humane Society says while the dogs are improving, the fight is far from over. It's heartbreaking, repeatedly heartbreaking. You know, you have a really great victory because like right. here we save these dogs, but it'll happen again and, and that part is hard. And we can't see the dogs right now because they're being used as evidence. The Humane Society says the dogs are confused right now, but very friendly. Investigators believe they have enough to send this guy behind bars for quite some time. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Well, and Priya, this isn't the first time he's been charged in connection with dog fighting, right? Yeah, we learned that in court today. In 2008, he was convicted of attending a dog fight. Now he's facing 11 felonies accused of running a dog fighting ring. The Humane Society says if he's convicted again, they want to push for a lifetime ban on owning dogs. Send it back right, to you. All right, Priya.